want to sort of ride on a musical wave, I guess, and also it's great to be to have new ideas introduced. And at the best of times, you're not thinking at all, and you're not thinking in your head like about what each individual player is doing or what you're going to do to take this somewhere. It just, I don't know, it happens. <laughs> interesting because I've mostly been playing with uh, digital accompaniments so tonight playing was like it was cool because we had a lot of great moments and then there's moments where I'm like thinking too hard about like why am I rushing why is this uh, you know and thoughts are, are get in the way of just making music <laughs> whether or not you're consciously thinking it you of course react to to who you're playing with in the environment yeah. Whether or not you consciously think about it. I think if you have to think, okay, I have to compensate for this like time disparity that's happening with these people and me and, and whatever, then and then you're consciously thinking about it. That's one thing. But like no matter what, you're sort of hopefully just reacting and adjusting to your environment and not necessarily being like, what do I have to do to make this work? <laughs> Before we turned the recorder on, you said something about achieving a flow and, yeah. and, and that resonated with me where, where, where I think there's a level at which that's where the music is going to happen, where, when we achieve a, a collective yeah. flow where we're, where we're flowing together. I mean, if it didn't happen at all, it would be disastrous. I mean, <laughs> that, that, like if you're playing music with people in the same room, in the same space, that, that it's going to happen a, at least a little bit. I think you're going to find a pulse together, you're going to find something uh, you're gonna find points of contact. Just yeah. the the same as speaking with someone or or uh, engaging with someone. You don't always yeah. though. No, it's true. You don't always, but but uh, I feel like I'm I'm always trying to. Find those points of contact and those points of of engagement. I remember John once. You asked me if if uh, what I did when I had bad gigs or if I ever had bad gigs, and I feel like I haven't had many like terrible bad gigs in the last however many years because I'm I'm more attuned to those points of contact yeah. and those and, and 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 those points of of uh, you know where I'm playing into the music right yeah yeah like f finding that thing that we can agree on but I wanted to say something about this idea about thinking. And I feel like um, there's a, a notion about improvised activity where we feel like we want to turn off our thinking brain and our um, and and I feel like that is I mean Sonny Rollins says you can't think and play at the same time and I agree with it in 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 a way I agree with but, it I mean a ton of stuff goes into it before that well that's that's it there, there's a ton of stuff that goes into it before that and 
it's true that your thinking, you know, your your sort of frontal cortex can really interfere with with the flow state that you want to achieve. It is true. But uh I hear a lot of music that is all flow and no thought. No. And I I want I think that the ideal music has both. It has the flow and it has the thought. And I feel like um I mean, I don't I don't really believe in God, but but wow. if I did believe in God, <laughs> I would believe that God created everything and he created all my thoughts. Or she. <laughs> and and so I feel like there's a, a duality that people think where where that that where people think, oh well, if I'm in the flow state, I'm I'm not thinking, and then they conflate thinking Listen. with something that's destructive to the flow state. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, if the but but it, I think that thinking is as helpful and conducive to the flow state. You know, I, I mean. Like, again, I don't really believe in God, but if I did, yeah. I think that God created my thoughts. Yep. <laughs> when you were mentioning form, I, like, I, I don't want to be thinking about form. That's, that's one particular thing I, I want to be... Um, I want to feel I know where I am without thinking about the form. But sometimes you do. Sometimes you think, oh, maybe I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> And and, and and then you sort of try to work that out, but I but in general, form is like a thing that you want it to be like breathing.